Now we will finish the part using Surface High Speed Scallop. Expand the gallery in the 3D group. Then select Scallop. Click on Select Entities and use the Select All Surface Entities Quick Mask button. Then press End Selection. Make sure Wall Stock and Floor Stock are set to zero. Select Toolpath Control. Then click for Select Containment Boundaries. Choose C-Plane and select this contour. Then press OK. Select Tool. Select Library Tool and click Filter. Change the type to Ball End Mill and set the tool diameter to equal 3 eighths and press OK. Select the 3 eighths ball end mill and press OK. Enter the comment, finish the part. Select cut parameters. Disable expand inside to out and change the step over to 0.02. Select transitions. Make sure Tangential Ramp is selected, and then select Linking Parameters. Change Linear Entry Exit to 0.1. Change the Max Trimming Distance to 0.05 if necessary, and Full Vertical Retract. Then press OK. Toggle the toolpath display off. Backplot the operation. When backplot is finished, press OK. Click on Simulator Options. Change the stock model to stock after roughing and press OK. Then verify operation number 4. Note that the area between the islands and the loft surface, as well as the fillet surface with a radius of 0.04 inches, cannot be machined by a 3 8 inch ball end mill. To clean those areas, we will use the leftover toolpath design to finish areas that previous tools could not machine. Minimize the simulation window.